Counseling Techniques, Exploring Sociocultural Contexts, with Gina Coe and Sandra Collins. The challenges that clients experience often play out across multiple contexts of their lives, family, school, work, community, and sometimes in response to broader systems they encounter. The purpose of this counseling technique is to draw attention to contextual barriers and supports, to deepen understanding of challenges the client faces, and to assess the client's sense of locus of control for those challenges. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Gina. So last time when we met, we explored a little bit in terms of bringing your whole self, right, to in, in your in your life post retirement and, and how, how how do we do that? We talked a bit about your art, talked a bit about your new projects, spending time with with your spouse and um and even some barriers. Summarizing. Mm-hmm. That was that what you recall, Sandra? Checking perceptions. Yes, yes, that was really helpful. Yeah. So is it okay to continue on that that this sure path? Enough. Checking perceptions. Yeah, that would be great. Hey, so Sandra, how about sharing with me, are there other contexts of your life where you feel like you can work towards bringing this whole self? Questioning. Yeah, that's a good question because I've been been thinking about a couple of them. Um, One is in terms of my friendships and Mm -hmm. the other is in the in my kind of advocacy and writing um, self. Um, so I don't know, maybe we want to talk, start talking about the friendships piece first. Uh, yeah, I'm actually very interested in the friendship piece. We haven't talked much about that. Self-disclosing. No, mm-hmm. and, and I'm, I'm becoming more conscious and maybe COVID kind of brought this to the foreground but I'm becoming more conscious of how um how important values alignment is to me in friendships and you know we have I have friends and we have friends together um who fit into all kinds of different categories and we have different kinds of relationships and and we don't have to all agree on all of our values for sure because that would be boring and you know we wouldn't have good conversations um but I'm finding that bringing my whole self forward requires some values alignment. Okay. Tell me more about what you're thinking about certain, certain values alignment then. Probing. What would what, some of the values be? Questioning. Well, I think over time I have become, I realize I have kind of embraced a more a more activist, a more um, social consciousness uh, set of values. And so, um, and those filter into all parts of my life. And so I'm finding it challenging um, to, to find a way to be my whole self when I'm not sure that um, the people that I'm around will will be able to get it or um, appreciate it or respect it or yeah. Mm-hmm. Sandra, would you be comfortable sharing with me even one example of the this uncertainty? Like I'm not sure the people around me might get this. So probing. Well I can I can say that when I left the university, I wrote a I can't remember if I've mentioned this before, but I wrote my own sort of exit letter because I wanted to address some of the my experiences of sexism and ableism and um, my observations of racism towards other people and um, and just kind of put forward um, a call for attention to these things Mm -hmm. um, naming things and and hoping that it would have an impact on the systemic kind of stuff within the institution. So I shared that with some people and I had like very positive responses and they kind of got what I was trying to say. And then um, in other places I had silence. Mm -hmm. 
And so, so then I sort of started processing that. So what's that, what's that silence about? And um, where I came down to was, you know, maybe, maybe how I am in the world is uncomfortable Mm. uh, for certain people in my life. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, it's really interesting because you're connecting the, the the two, the two that you mentioned, you said friendships and then advocacy, right? When our friends slash our peers, we have we get feedback or lack of feedback that what's important to me. Reflecting meaning. And I'm going to say, Sandra, that's highly courageous. And you know, I I I when I'm I'm hearing that, I just I feel like it's uh, coming from your heart, right? It's coming from your mind. It's coming even from your body. Offering affirmations. You compose that letter and you share. I mean, the best hopes is some sort of a response, right? And when we don't get any from certain people, we what we do wonder. Reflecting meaning. Yeah, it makes you kind of. It makes me kind of wonder. At first, I thought, well, maybe that wasn't a good idea to to share that with those. Um, particular people and and then afterwards I thought well maybe it actually is because it's it's information about um the places where it's okay to bring my full self forward and I mean I like people to challenge me I don't I'm not I'm not at all uncomfortable with people saying I didn't get that piece of that thing at all or or you know I really don't see something that way I kind of I kind of enjoy those kinds of conversations because it's challenging and growth promoting, et cetera. But so it's not about that. It's more about um, if people, if people aren't saying something, then I kind of feel like, okay, do I, do I keep, do I put that part of myself away for a space where um, it might be more welcome or does it matter? Am I just me everywhere, and then, then it plays out as it plays out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, Sandra, knowing you for our time together, all that you know in terms of that learner, you are such a learner. You, you use the word growth just now, right? Offering affirmations. So, perhaps a part of a part of in terms of the values that you you know of yourself, maybe this is the learning then. So exactly what you're saying what do I do with this information do I do anything is it is it influential is it not how do I know right so the curiosity around how come people don't respond and then you said maybe it's still good to send because maybe they are the ones that do need to hear reflecting meaning I like the idea of curiosity Mm -hmm. um, because it kind of um, I'm I'm not feeling particularly reactive to it. It is more kind of you know we've talked about sp- spaces where it's really safe for me to, you know I'm sitting behind my desk writing something. It's pretty safe to put my whole self into that because there's not an immediate kind of reaction. Or in my relationship with my spouse, where we're both kind of talking about the same sorts of values, things, and what we do with those. But I like the idea of curiosity because it's also it also requires you to just sort of step back and and look at that without judgment and just say not judging myself, not judging other people. Um, maybe it's about goodness of fit, or or it's about um, figuring out um, what relationships you have that kind of values conversation and what relationships it doesn't really work um yeah yeah no and it's also coming to my my mind that with the friendships and then the advocacy pieces right the two it curiosity does matter right it can be really helpful right even with advocacy being to get to know people who are not similar to us be cur- to be curious about their stories and right and to be even more accepting and compassionate and Good to being curious, right? Summarizing. That's an interesting thing because I feel like the advocacy work is like um pulling me forward, you know, like I'm just learning so much and I'm excited mm-hmm. about the people I'm connecting with and in shared sort of advocacy intent and and um yeah, that's like pulling me forward and then 
I have been feeling like this other piece is kind of holding me back but maybe it doesn't have to maybe it just is about um what I have to learn from that and where where I bring my whole self forward or if I do what my expectations are because um I think one of the one of the barriers to bringing my whole self forward is giving power to other people mm. to impact me if they're not happy with what they see of my whole self and so um yeah maybe it is it doesn't matter this is just about me and my growth and being curious about how it plays out yeah so Sandra when you just said you know giving power to other people right there's there's a sense of um agency and locus of control and um it's about me having the, this group of people that I've chosen to share with, but how, how they respond or slash react or don't respond. Mm -hmm. I can't control that, right? Reflecting meaning. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And it's just a good reminder to, um, I mean, I'm a relatively non-judgmental person, except with myself, <laughs> I think. Um, and so, yeah, it's just, this is kind of, as I test out the newness of certain places where I bring my whole self forward or just being in my whole self more consistently, um, I think, yeah, owning that is my thing um, and just observing without feeling judgment or whatever, I think is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 